Mr Moore, was it right on our birthday gathering in Downing Street? Cabinet arrived for their weekly audience, where they ought to hear what matters to this government in the days ahead. Well, I've not been invited to any party. Right now, that's the least of the problems facing the Chief Whip and his colleagues. So are you embarrassed that the government is being investigated by the police? Leaving number 10, these cabinet ministers discovered that they were amongst the last in the country to find out that Britain's most senior police officer had just said this. The Met is now investigating a number of events that took place at Downing Street and Whitehall in the last two years in relation to potential breaches of COVID-19 regulations. She made clear the fact this involves Boris Johnson was critical. There was evidence that those involved knew or ought to have known that what they were doing was an offence. This is what a blindsided cabinet looks like. Don't you think it's embarrassing that the government is being investigated by the Met Police for having Downing Street parties? Watch these cabinet members as they try to find a car to take them the short distances back to their government departments simply to avoid the cameras. They know they're ill-prepared to talk about the story that will dominate government for weeks to come. Do you think the Prime Minister can survive a police investigation? This man is one of Boris Johnson's chief parliamentary aides. He's got to find some kind of favourable spin to placate Tory MPs. Was the matter discussed in Cabinet, Mr Griffiths? Not commenting on anything to do with that today. Well, even those around the top table were speechless as they got to grips with the news. I think it's absolutely right. The Met will do their uh, job. Can you survive the police investigation, Boris But with Russia poised for a possible invasion of Ukraine, the Prime Minister was forced to head to the Commons today, where the opposition were on the offensive. Potential criminality has been found in Downing Street. What a truly damning reflection on our nation's very highest office. Still plenty of Tories lining up to defend him. Ten minutes of eating cake and wishing someone a happy birthday would not a party make, but it is a matter for police investigation. Can we please have a sense of proportion yeah. over the Prime Minister yeah. being, given, yeah. being given a piece of cake in his own office? Boris Johnson even suggested to the Commons a police investigation that clears him would be helpful. I welcome the Met's decision to conduct its own investigation because I believe this will help to give the public the clarity it needs and help to draw a line under matters. Despite what some Tories might try and tell you, there is no universe in which Boris Johnson being investigated by the police for potential breaches of lockdown rules is anything other than a big blow. His own official appears to have found evidence of criminality which she's referred to the police. But what if Boris Johnson leaves office? The government will continue in all eventualities, uh, continuously in a stable way, but I think you're getting ahead of yourself. Uh, we'll wait for the outcome of the inquiries. Have you broken the law, Prime Minister? Questions about this man's future coming to a head. Indications the Sue Gray inquiry could be imminent. How long will this be home? Sam Coates, Sky News, Westminster.